In May of 2018, the Earth Spirit community gathered to celebrate the 40th annual Rites of Spring. At this important anniversary, we took time to reflect on our stories and our roots, time to explore how participation in this community and in the times that we come together have affected the lives of those who gather on the mountain each year. What got me to Rites of Spring was I was really studying the history of magic and I was tracking it back through the Renaissance, medieval times, and it ends up being that the origins of magic are at the fire, shamanism. And that was where conjuring magic began. The person that could do incredible things uh, had a link to sources unknown. And the shaman of yesterday has become the showman of today. And we use many of the same tools, the trance-inducing lights, the, the music, all of the techniques of the stage magician are used in shamanism. So it was a way of me tracking the origins of the showbiz magician back to shamanism. What keeps bringing me back to Rites of Spring is people living their mythology. I read The Hero with a Thousand Faces. I do a magic act with masks. And The Hero with a Thousand Faces is about the quest, about the hero's journey in all different cultures. And this is what George Lucas studied, got close to um, uh, Joseph Campbell and read a lot about mythology in order to create the Star Wars series. And what brings me back is that this is a place that empowers people to live their myth. What keeps bringing me back to Rites of Spring is the possibility of real magic. And if people don't think it exists, it really does. I was coming here for real magic and the first fire that I attended these people that I met at the fire are all still part of this amazing tribe. And at that very first fire, I met a woman who became my best friend for nine years, and then my wife. And we've been together as friends and as partners for 30 years. So if people are looking for real magic, they'll find it. I found that the power of fire and community can transform people. Thousands of years ago when the sun went down, People would gather around the tribal campfire to listen to the storytellers and the shamans weave their tales. And the same thing happens even today. When the sun sets, people come where the lights are to listen to the storytellers in the theaters. And I live in Las Vegas, and in Las Vegas, there is more light than anywhere else in the world. There's also more magic than anywhere else in the world. Where there's light, there's magic. And magic brings light. It lights people up. It lights up their eyes. So, if you want more light and illumination, maybe you have to come into the woods late at night and see a little fire burning and move towards it.